All right, guys, it's gonna be video two of Cody's 79 PSA submission. So he broke these down. He's got some interesting cards in here. So stay tuned. Let's see what he got. All right, as John mentioned, this is going to be the part two of the huge 79 card $18 bulk submission, which flew through PSA in all honesty, it flew through. So we'll go ahead and leave some uh, information as far as how fast this worked through PSA. Uh, but if you haven't already, be sure to check out John's PSA updates that he's been doing on a pretty consistent basis, uh, which is going to cover all of our orders. But nevertheless, let's get to it. We have a whole bunch of different cards from different sports, different players. So no rhyme or reason why I sent them. They just look cool. $18. Let's get it. If they've seen Cody's reveals, they know what they're in for. <laughs> so this first one here, we actually have a Chris Bryant. Chris Bryant mini rookie card. And it's a uh, like a blue shimmer. That was pretty cool. Maybe a collector would like it. Let's sneak peek it real quick. Nice. There it is. Pretty cool. It got 10. Nice. nice. Very Good nice. way to start off after that uh, cracking video. So nice 10 on the Chris Bryant. I am not a huge baseball collector, but I know Chris Bryant. So this one, you know this guy, Derek Dieter. Nice. Top's finest, not a refractor, just oh, nice. a base card. It is a little off-centered, but it's Derek Dieter, and it's from 1996. So 10, very nice. Very nice. John, this is a huge card. He knows. This is a huge card. I I thought this was going to be a 9 in the pre-grading video. Wow. So, Wow. Whoa. Oh, see a little bit on the front? Is that what you were thinking? Or yeah. Look now? at the off-center. I mean, look top to bottom, left to right. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Nice card. I didn't have coating on or anything, right? It looks like one of those cards with the coating. You know, I thought at one point it would have coating, but I don't think Top's Finest did it that year. Um, I will just take a break real quick. If you did not see my pre-PSA submission, I put my reputation on the line with this submission and stating that I was going to ship or send out. Most of these cards would have to be 10s, okay? So there's no pre-grades. John's not giving any pre-grades because I expected these to come back 10s with a few exceptions. Yeah, your I'll best point cards. those out. Yeah. So uh, this one, oh, this made it into the wrong video. This is a Wander Franco. This is was actually a cracker. Cracker. All CSG right. Black Label 10. Very nice card. And it got a 10. Nice. Look oh, at that. So CSG 10 to a 10. Yep. So I missed it on that last video. That would have bumped you up. Yep. That's very nice. Three very cool. baseball, three tens. I've had some really good luck with baseball. But that's it for baseball. So let's let's see what my luck is now. So we have a few basketball cards um, from last year. So this first one is a Killian Hayes Mosaic Green Prism. And a 10, man. You're on a roll, man. On a roll, Jack. Very nice. So green mosaic. Let's see if they give me some good grades on players that actually matter, though. So we have a LaMelo Ball Flux Silver Prism. Freshman year insert. And it got a 9. I jinxed myself already. Yeah, you did. You just did it. <clears throat> so here we go. There's that. The two Tyrese Halliburton's that I have coming up. This first one's going to be just a base prism. Honestly, these two Tyrese were probably going to be a 9, but I sent them anyways. And the first one got a 10. Unjinx yourself. Unjinxed. <laughs> nice. It's actually good that this one came back a 10, but because as you can imagine, a base prism card probably doesn't sell much as a PSA 9. So, yep. So he blows up in the playoffs, and then it might go up a little bit. <laughs> right. So this next one is going to be a Tyrese Halliburton, as I mentioned, but this one is going to be a red, white, and blue. And... Got a 10. Holy oh, nice. cow. Smoking. Smoking really hot right well. now. Except for that Lamello. <laughs> All right. You jinx yourself on that one. Though. You were doing good. Yeah. Let's. You know what? Let's just see if I redeem myself or if they're consistent. Oh, man. I forgot. This is another cracker. So this is a Lamello ball. Uh, just base prism from concourse or from select concourse level. This was a CSG Black Label 9.5. 9.5. Uh oh. The last one went up to a 10. Look at you. Wow, very nice. Cody's going to be on the eBay buying up all the black label 9.5s he can find out. <laughs> so 50% uh, on the gym rate with the Lamella ball. 
So here's a Malachi Flynn. This is a Quartzide Shimmer Prism. Got a nine. Never heard of that guy. Malachi Flynn. I just bought this card. You know, I was thinking about doing a rookie Quartzide Shimmer Prism collection, but maybe I shouldn't. Here's an Isaac Okoro. This is out of 149. This is a Rookies and Stars Crusade Red Prism. And it got a nine. Okay. Two no bodies. No, I'm just kidding. So Peyton Pritchard, Courtside Shimmer Prism. It's a 10. Nice. nice. Pretty card. Here's another Peyton Pritchard. This should be a purple prism. So I think that's retail. And it got a 10. I don't even know why I covered it up. Okay. Very nice. I'm on a roll here. Doing good. Nick Richards. Only a couple more fastballs. So let's Green see. Green Prism. Green Prism, Nick Richards. Have you heard of this guy? Nope. Okay. Well, I got a 10. Very nice. Wow. I hope this translates to the football cards. Rookie what year? Uh, 2020. Ant-Man? Uh, same year. All right. I Ant think Ball. so, right? 2020. So Charlotte Hornets got uh, Des or Xavier Tillman. Anthony Edwards, no, not Anthony Edwards. Uh, Charlotte is Lamelo and Nick Richards. So this next one is actually a Killian Hayes out of forty-nine, like a red red mojo prism, and it got a ten. Very nice. Very nice. Liking this return so Look far. Look at you, man, with a big <laughs> stack of tens. Yeah, that's that's we haven't seen that before, have we? Very nice. Well, it's rare. <laughs> We have a. This is the this is the last modern basketball card. This is Desmond Bain. This should also be a courtside prism, the shimmer, red, white, and orange, and it got a ten as well. Man, look at you go! Holy moly! <clears throat> okay, these next two, John, you may not even recognize these cards, but do you remember when we went to the Tampa Card Show and we had that like one dollar challenge or ten dollar challenge? Yeah. Well. Something that I did off to the side was buy these two Michael Jordans. I think it was like, I think I said $1 in the pre-PSA video, but I think it was truly like $3 a card. So you cheated? You lied? Well, no, I just did a side investment. Uh, this was not included. Not part of the challenge. Right, 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 right. So I got two of them. They look pretty good. Let's see what the grade got. Ooh, an eight. So I missed something on that one. I thought the foils were nice, but I won't spend time on that. So that that's an eight. Two of those. And there's the second one, and it got a nine. Okay. So one, one eight, one nine. So the thought behind this was let's wrap up that experiment with the Tampa card show. Let's see if I can get these graded and sell them. But um, I honestly thought they were going to grade a little bit better than that. So kind of uh, kind of ruins my streak. There. Eighteen dollars still. Yeah, we'll see. Break even maybe on the nine. Here's a few that I'm actually uh, interested in keeping. I think you're familiar with these Matrix. Yeah. Right? Remember those old school minis of the three basketball players of yeah, like Larry uh, Bird? Okay. I see what you got here. I, I was thinking it was uh, LeBron James, but you got... I didn't get LeBron. He's uh, too expensive. It is a little bit more. Yeah. So I got I got Bosch and Carmelo Anthony with this first one, and they got an eight. Ooh, these, these vintage basketballs hurt. They grade tough. Yeah. Are those? Okay, they're together. Yeah, that's, yeah. those they're, are they're, triple they're cards. They're perforated cards. Here's another one with Dwayne Wade and Chris Bosch. And this one got a nine. Thought those are pretty cool cards, especially with Wade coming up on retirement here soon. And the last one is also with Dwayne Wade and Chris Bosch. This one got a nine as well. So the uh, non modern cards I kind of struggled with. So I think the rest of this mission here is football. So hopefully I can uh, get some good grades on those as well. But let's start off with some Zach Martin cards. What are you laughing about? What are you laughing about right you now? You just you like defensive and offensive linemen and listen. I was telling our guy Jim that this is my long term investment for an offensive lineman, so I'm just showing it off. I think Jim agreed with you, so we'll see if you and Jim how y'all do. <laughs> well, this my only my reputation is on the line here, Jim. So let's see. We have uh, Zach Martin, 82 out of 99, select. Rookie card, and it comes out of 10. Nice. Very nice. This is from 2014, so these are some pretty old cards. This next one will be a Topps Chrome, and this one, I believe, is like the Blue Shimmer Prism, and it got a 10 as well. Nice. This is actually great news because if you watch the pre-PSA video, I sent, I bought a 
huge lot of those. So that being the standard is going to really help me out when I submit the, the next ones. And where'd you get them from? <clears throat> eBay. On eBay? All my Zach Martin cards are from eBay. Uh, here is, I believe, a Topps. Is it Finest? Yep, Topps Finest Silver Refractor of Zach Martin. And it got a 9. Really nice card. Tough to get a nice copy of that. Here is a Zach Martin Select Auto out of 149, and it shouldn't be a prism. And it got a nine. <clears throat> we would have some Lyman can write. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Wow, well, I guess. Shots fired. Here's another. Uh, this should be the Moho prism. This is my favorite variation. Ah, oh, man, I got an eight. That's rough. <clears throat> is that yeah. card 42? Have we got the card 42 yet, Zach Martin? Uh, that would have been, yep, that would have been it. All right, it says TL next to it, written by the uh, grader, so I don't know if that means tough luck or... <laughs> well, maybe they're talking about this one, because this came out an eight. So, that's actually three eights in this PSA reveal, so we're kind of getting back to, like, 50%, 50% gym rate. I think the grader was tired <clears throat> of just seeing offensive linemen, and he's like, who Dude, is this guy? Send me something different. <laughs> so, here's an orange prism of Zach Martin. And I got a nine. Tough to find clean copies of Prism cards back in 2014. And this is going to be uh, this is going to be a true testament of my grader here. I have two more Zach Martin before we get into my Jalen Ramsey submission. And these are two die cuts from Crown Royale. So this one's out of ten, and it got a six. Youch! I was about to say those grade hard, but I did not see that coming. Well, that's not good news because this one's out of 14, and it also, well, wow, this one got out of 9. So, definitely overlook something with this purple. I'll have to double, double check it. But 6. So, that really crushed my gym mint rate. I want to write that 6 down here. <laughs> got it. All right, so we have a few more. This is all Jalen Ramsey to wrap up the video. And then, remember, if you stay tuned this long, we have a part 3 with uh, some quarterbacks. So, you'll want to check that one out. This first one is going to be Jalen Ramsey, Florida State alumni. It's a silver prism auto. This was not one of the best copies that I had, but it was the best auto that I had. So let's see what we got. And he got a nine. That's a huge win. I love that so much. Perfect. Holding that forever. All oh, right. PC card, huh? Nice. Yeah, so PC, Mike Evans, Drew Brees, and Jalen Ramsey. So... This next one, uh, not sure if this is... Okay, one of the three silver prisms. Got a 10. That's cool. Very nice. Come on, baby. I'm excited now. I'm on a roll. What's this next one, John? Another silver. And it got a 10. Let's go, man. Woo! I Skill said players, not offensive linemen. The guy got a little bit happy. Maybe he had a snicker bar. <laughs> so I said in the pre-PSA video that two of them were going to be a 10. One of them was going to be a 9. Let's see if I was wrong. I was wrong! Let's go! <laughs> yes! You've never been happier to be wrong in your life. That's 100% what I wanted to see. Okay, all right. Here's a nervous one. This 2016, too. That's not a new card. That's, mm -hmm. that's pretty cool. All eBay purchases. So here's a blue prism. This one is numbered out of 199. I didn't think it was a 10, but I want to be wrong again. Uh, I was not. It became a 9. But... I think we can all agree that is just a little too off-center to be a 10. So I'll take that one. Last two, I think one's a purple and one's a hollow. You're on a roll, man. There's no You're way a that's roll. a 10, but I'll take it. I think that was a mistake by, by uh, PSA, but I'll You're take gonna it. You're going to have to edit that out for sure. Last one, and it got a 9. Okay, a so a little, little weird. I think in the pre-PSA video, I thought this one was going to be a 9 and this one was going to be a 10. So getting those wrong, honestly, having the hollow is way better than the purple and yep, a 10. So for sure. Uh, do we think we're close to 50%? Oh, yeah. I think we're, I think, no, I think it was better than 50% because there's a thick boy in there. So I don't know how many cards that is. I'll have to tally it up when we edit the video, but this was definitely my best submission ever. That's way more than 50%. I think so. I think so. so. And a lot of them, like you said in your pre-grading, you said nines on some of them. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's tough with those vintage basketball. There's something that I'm missing because we have never really done well with vintage basketball or yeah. just 90s basketball. So thank you so much for joining us for this one. We got part three with some quarterbacks coming here soon. So we'll see you on the next one.